Hey guys, Tarantula Redneck here. Uh, this is my first video for tarantulas. And I just thought I'd start off by showing off what I have in my collection so far. Uh, you might not be able to see a few of them because they're still spiderlings. And they've, two of them just started to burrow like a week, maybe two weeks ago. And the other one's been buried, uh, burrowed for about a whole, almost a whole month, I think. But anyway, uh, let's show off my collection so far. And here we have uh, my Guyana avicularia, the common pink toe. As you can tell, she's webbed up quite a bit since... She's been putting this. I know it's an odd enclosure because she's got width and height. I'm going to fix that whenever she molts. And uh, this one. This isn't going to be a really long video, guys, unfortunately. Um, this one we have my... Uh, Sorry, I got a piece of grass. Uh, my uh, Afana Palma Simani, the Costa Rican zebra. I'm going to try to tickle her out here if she'll come out. But I don't know if she will or not. Anyway, uh, I can get a flashlight and look. We can look right quick. Unfortunately, I'm using like a computer desk. But. There she is. Hiding. Uh, she's been using that burrow ever since I got her. Um, this one I just got. The Grandma Stola Portrait. The uh, rose hair tarantula. I am actually happy to own this species. And I just got her today. So hoping and fingers crossed that she's female because they live long. Males unfortunately don't live as long as females do. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name for this species. But that's my green bottle blue sling. Uh, her name is Skittles. Uh, that's Jacqueline. That's uh, Rachnera. And I'd say Skittles is hungry. I had to move her into something smaller. She was in that right up there. But she kept wanting to try to find a way out. And then we have my Brachypelma Amelia which you can't see her she's burrowed you can see her little hide right there uh her name is pumpkin i'm all, i'm just going off the chart and just calling them she's right now and then we have uh my wife's which is the brachypelma alba pelosum the honduran curly hair i read somewhere that uh the uh, Nicaragua curly hair was the true curly hair. And then we've got my Nandu Chromatis, the Brazilian red and white, or Brazilian white knee bird eater. I like saying Brazilian red and white because it's got more than just white knees. It's got a red rump. But that's it for my collection so far. Um... My next one to get, I, my next two to get together, and I can thank Tarantula Cat for showing off this website called, uh, um, I think it's palp, palpfrictiontarantulas.com. Uh, I plan to get the 
Poesotheria. I call it Poclotheria. Everybody has it, says it a different way. I'm trying to get to say it right, but the uh, Goody Sapphire Ornamental and the Pteranoculus Murinus, the Orange Baboon Tarantula. I know I'm just a starter, but I know what I'm getting into. I've watched so many videos of this. And Tarantula Guy 1972 or 76, Rob, he's the one that got me into this. I've watched so many of his videos about his Poclotherias and all them. But I thank him for getting me into this. And Cat, I thank you for showing me Palp Friction. I plan on getting those two. I saw that it was like $40 for overnight shipping a piece, but when I added them to my cart for that, it only showed up as like $120 with only $40 shipping overnight, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, like, uh, subscribe, and comment if you think it was pretty cool. I mean, I know I'm just starting out, but we'll get there eventually, guys. Alright, see ya.